I think with anything with a with a child is you have to let them go down that path and see where it leads. Yeah. You being next to them is not a bad thing and you doing the research with them is not a bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. Let them let them take the helm because a lot of times we have people we have people come in and it's the parent that's more interested in them joining the military than the child. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious. Like the the, the child, and I say the child, but you know the right. the person that wants to enlist. They're not asking any questions. The parents asking all the questions, and the 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 applicant isn't doing anything on their own. Right. And we have to we have to pause and be like, look, I'm not I'm not asking you to join the military. You guys came in here, and it's your your child that says they have interest but it doesn't seem that they do and then we that's when we ask why do you want to join the military Good. well if they had done this research prior to we wouldn't be having that conversation right right so do the research together as a homeschooling family mm -hmm. we all know how we are and that we're very involved with our kids lives right. which is a great thing which is a great thing yeah and you just because you do research and just because you go talk to a recruiter does not mean you have to join the military. And that goes, that's any job. Just because I go research what it's like to work at IBM or Microsoft doesn't mean I'm gonna I'm gonna have a job with them or that I'm even want I, I'm gonna end up working with them.